Here we have multiplying complex numbers. And so we have one term times two terms. That's a monomial times a binomial. We have to distribute. So negative 6i times negative 4i will be positive 24i. And negative 6i times positive 3i will be negative 18i squared. So we know that 24i will remain the same, but i squared actually becomes a negative 1 by definition. So this becomes 24i and then plus 18. Now you'll notice in the directions, they always want you to write your answers in this form. The real number part in the front and then the imaginary part in the back. So these two are not in the correct order. I should be writing the positive 18 in the front and then the positive 24i in the back. And this is what they will want in the answer box for Alex. Now for this example, we have a binomial times a binomial. So we will have to FOIL this one out. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 times 3i is 12i. Negative 3 times negative, negative 3i times negative 2 is a positive 6i. And then negative 3i times a positive 3i is a negative 9i squared. Now, the negative 8 will stay the same. I have positive 12i and positive 6i, which make positive 18i. And then here I have negative 9 times a negative 1 because i squared is negative 1 which means I have negative 8 plus 18i, and that becomes a positive 9. So if I combine the real numbers together, I get a positive 1 and then a positive 18i. And this is already in that form, a plus bi. So this will be what I type in the answer box in Alex. So for the next one, it's the same thing. You've got a binomial times a binomial, so you need to FOIL. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24i, negative i times 1 is negative i, and then negative i times negative 4 is positive 4i squared. So the 6 will stay the 6, these can combine into negative 25i, this becomes 4 times negative 1, which eventually becomes a negative 4, and then 6 minus 4 is 2, so your final result is 2 minus 25i. I usually don't write this step. I go straight from this step to this step. So you might see me say 6, those two together make minus 25i. This i squared is going to change that sign, so it becomes negative 4, and then I combine those and I have my final answer. So I don't ever usually write this step. All I do is know that that i squared is going to be a negative, which is going to change this sign, whatever it is, right? Even if it's a minus sign, that i squared is going to change that sign to a plus sign, okay? So that's generally what you'll see me do from now on. So if you don't watch this video and you see it later on, you might get, you might get confused or you might just catch on. It just depends on you.